Hi guys, we'll be doing our first reaction video today. We'll be reacting to Brian Johnson's video of how he uh, reversed his hair loss. For those of you who do not know who Brian Johnson is, Brian Johnson is a multi-millionaire who's taken up the project of living to a hundred. And this is all documented through his project blueprint. So let's dive in. Let's go and start the video and start reacting. I should be bald. I started to lose my hair and go gray in my late 20s. I'm now 46. It's been a lot of hard work to keep the hair I have. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through my protocol, what I do on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis. I'm also gonna share with you some special tips on how we've reversed my gray hair. Preliminary results, but we're encouraged. Now, it's important to note that the best time to work on your hair is before you start losing it. A lot of people wait until they start seeing a lot of shedding. Don't wait. Start doing hair care immediately. Now, if you're in your early 20s, mid 20s, good time to start taking note that it's important. Otherwise, it's harder to catch it when you're already done that path. Now, this is pure wisdom. Start early. If you want results in your hair loss treatment, start as early as possible. Like he mentions that if you're in your early 20s and you're just starting to notice some hair fall, this is the right time to actually take action. A lot of us wait for too long and eventually we are left with very less options to get a full head of hair and these mostly include surgical options like hair transplant or hair replacement. However, if you want to keep your hair, start as early as you can. And please remember, even though you've opted to use a hair loss shampoo, it is not working, it is not doing what it should, please start using treatments as your first line of defense. The mistake that many of us make is that we start by switching to a hair loss shampoo. We need to remember that a hair loss shampoo by itself will not reverse our hair loss. We have to go for clinical treatments, we have to go for topicals to actually keep our hair. First thing I do in the morning every day is I wear this red light therapy cap. It has 312 laser diodes. You put on the head, you turn it on, it's battery powered. And so I can walk about and do my morning routine without having to sit down. It increases uh, blood flow and also stimulates hair follicle activity. The studies on this are pretty good. It's not the most powerful treatment we do, but still it's part of the stack. And so all these little things add up. So every day, six minutes. The first thing he mentions is LLLT or low level laser therapy. This treatment is FDA approved to stop hair loss and has been around for over 10 to 15 years now. You can either buy a laser cap device or buy a laser comb and do this at your home by yourself. Or you can opt for in-clinic versions of this, which are slightly less expensive. So I'm going to unbox the Berkowitz Grow Laser Cap and show you what all it has. So this is how it comes. It's a carryable, portable case. You can travel with it, you can keep it anywhere discreetly. Essentially, this is the laser cap device. This is what has laser diodes, this is what is treating your hair loss and stopping it. This goes under any cap. You are provided with this cap as part of the packet. You can switch it for any brand that you might like or any uh, other cap that you might have. This will fit like this under any cap. The wire comes out from the other end. Now use it with any power source, any kind of uh, USB charger or maybe even a power bank. As soon as I put it on my head, the 81 laser diodes start blinking and start trying to cover my entire scalp. Like Brian says, you can use it for six to 10 minutes every day on your scalp, work around, walk with it, whatever you'd like to do in the morning or at night. And this definitely helps with um, hair loss. So we published this recipe and you can take that recipe, share it with the compound pharmacy and have them make it for you. Kind of a hassle, I know. So this is Brian's recipe for his hair loss topical. So what we can do is we can go through it. First, he has added caffeine there. There have been some preliminary studies that have shown that caffeine can counteract the miniaturization of hair follicles. There is finasteride in it. So for everyone who doesn't know, Finasteride is FDA approved to reverse hair loss. That is oral finasteride. However, this is in a topical solution. He's added it in his lotion that he's going to apply every day. There is growing evidence that it can still work as a topical and uh, maybe has lesser side effects than oral finasteride. There is obviously minoxidil in it. Minoxidil is an FDA approved treatment for hair loss. 
it works by dilating blood vessels meaning it increases blood circulation to the scalp acylic acid in it acylic acid is an organically available compound it has been shown to work against dht there are some promising studies that show that it can be beneficial to stopping hair loss diclofenac now this is an interesting one diclofenac is an anti-inflammatory drug which is used to reduce swelling or reduce pain wherever there is inflammation like muscular or joints. To use it in a uh, hair loss uh, treatment is very interesting because the idea here is that you can reduce the inflammation of the hair follicle by adding a little bit of diclofenac but I mean there is not enough evidence for it at this point. Next he's added tea tree oil. Tea tree oil is uh, beneficial to counteract uh, scalp itching, dryness and dandruff. Uh, combining it with minoxidil in fact is a smart move because minoxidil does dry the scalp and can lead to scalp flaking. Next there's rosemary oil. There is at least one study that shows rosemary oil can be as effective as 2% minoxidil. However, it is too early to be sure. Uh, there's Jingo Biloba. This is a long time nutraceutical favorite. It's one of the oldest trees in the world. Um, it is supposed to be a great antioxidant and maybe can also help improve blood circulation. Its efficacy when it comes to combating hair loss in topicals is yet to be tested. Biotin. Now, can we really have anything to do with hair loss without biotin? Uh, biotin or vitamin H as it's also known as can lead to some reversal of hair loss especially when it is due to biotin deficiency uh, biotin as we know will improve keratin synthesis as well so it can maybe lead to some kind of hair growth and last melatonin now a lot of you might know of melatonin as the sleep regulating hormone that this is what is used when you are not sleepy or when you want to prove your circadian rhythm. But there is some research that shows that melatonin might also be useful when it comes to hair growth. A disclaimer that many of the ingredients mentioned above are only um, will only show benefits for men because they work on counteracting DHT. So they are primarily made for male pattern baldness. But it's the only way to get it done. You could also go to uh, groups that sell these part these uh, formulations. They may not have all the things we've listed, but if they've got you know the basics like minoxidil, uh, then cool. But we really tried to create the most powerful hair formulation, and that's what we have. So hopefully it's helpful for you at least to know the things we're trying to play with on the topical. I apply it once a day. You can apply it twice a day, morning and evening. So really your preference. So one another thing that Brian mentions is that uh, if you can't find this formulation, it doesn't mean that you don't do anything. You can just start with a normal minoxidil. I know that there are many minoxidil finasteride combinations out there. There are some people who are also combining minoxidil with other uh, alternative th uh, medicine therapies like maybe pumpkin seed or saw palmetto, etc. So there is an, there are enough options available. Maybe you won't find the exact cocktail but you will find something which tries to experiment with a few other compounds to try and increase the benefits of minoxidil. And the one thing we do to enhance the benefits of the topicals, this and others, is we do microneedling. Uh, we've been not consistent with this, so we did it for a while and then we did so many things in the Bloomer protocol, it kind of got pushed out. So we think it's efficacious, we think it's also a good thing. Uh, we were also a little worried because I was doing uh, so many things for my hair. I was doing PRP and microneedling, and we were a bit worried that I was causing too much trauma to my scalp. So just a note that I do sometimes pair microneedling with the topical. Microneedling can be done either with a derma pen, like the one shown in his video, or by a derma roller. It's a very simple equipment. It has on one end some needles on the back which you uh, take over your scalp. Microneedling is used to create channels in the scalp and it also creates micro injuries. These micro injuries force the body to release their healing factors and growth factors which also in turn help with hair loss. Another thing that Brian mentions is PRP. PRP which is also known as platelet rich plasma is now a very widely used technique. There has been a lot of research on it. We know that it's really beneficial. Uh, how it works is that we take a small amount of blood, we uh, spin it in a centrifuge, we separate platelets and growth factors and then inject those platelets and growth factors into the scalp. This promotes healing, this ensures that the hair cycle grows into the growth phase and we have seen a lot of promising results from it. Uh, pulling really hard the follicles, it's delicate, uh, so just be mindful about that. Uh, not having hair pulling fights, you know, that's not a good thing for hair care. We're always pushing for something new and more powerful and so this is what's for today. So uh, definitely uh, one of the things that we all recommend is to be careful with your hair, don't pull on it, 
don't style it too hard don't use a lot of heat and uh, just just basically maintaining a little bit of uh, hygiene uh, when it comes to hair care will also help now the next part of his video he goes into uh, talking about reversing hair care i mean there is it's mostly exploratory at this point and the products that he's talking about are not available in india i mean i did try to go through their ingredients however there was not a lot of scientific study which showed that they were beneficial so it's it's a part that we are not currently uh, covering today uh, prp microneedling uh, these more advanced things surely and i'm going to be reporting back to we just started a new therapy using exosomes so actually we're using tixel uh, which is a skincare uh, system and also uh, exosomes so we open up the, the channels in the hair in the, in the scalp and then we put the exosome so we're going to see the efficacy of that but probably take a few months for us to get results but uh, overall i hope this is helpful for you so exosomes has shown promising results it is a form of uh, uh, it, it's seeing more and more application in regenerative medicine which includes uh, hair loss treatment the there is science behind it there is data behind it right now but however it is in its early stages we have seen some promising results at our end too. Thanks guys, that was it from my end. Hopefully this was educative for you all. You are now more aware of what hair loss treatments there are and what Brian does for his hair loss routine. Thank you.